Oh, yes. Hello. Sorry. I didn't mean to start with you. It looks like it's a bit late for that, though. But don't worry. Don't be afraid. It's just... Your window was open, so... I thought I'd let myself in. I know what you must be thinking. Who is this sicko? And what are they doing in my room so late at night? That's a fair question. This whole situation is actually quite embarrassing. I thought and hoped you'd be sleeping right now. Not because I want to do anything nefarious. I'm not a thief or a home invader. Well, okay, I guess. I am a home invader. But that's not why I'm... I just wanted to talk. I just wanted time to take things one step at a time. You know, first I'd enter your room while you're sleeping. Then, while I watch you sleep, I'd get used to being next to you. And by the time you'd wake up, I'd have gathered enough courage to talk to you. But it looks like that plan kinda crashed and burned, so... Looks like I'm hitting the ground running here. Okay, at least my words have been flowing, so to my credit, so far so good. Now then, about what I wanted to talk to you about, where do I begin? Oh, recently. Okay, not recently. It's been a while. But recently, I've been stalking you. Oh dear. That sounded way less creepy in my head. But yeah, I've been stalking you. I can assure you though, it was as wholesome as stalking gets. And it's wholesome because I love love. I love you. Enough to stalk you, obviously. Okay, I'm, I'm sure that's what all the stalkers say, but... In my case, it's true. And while I was wholesomely stalking you, I noticed something. Well, several things actually. None of them are good. Oh, first of all, I noticed that you seem kinda lonely. You don't really get out that often. And you don't have many friends. Well, Real friends, anyways. Not your fault, by the way. And with those friends, you don't get to spend as much time with them. I'm sure you'd like to. And even when you do spend time with them, the quality of that time really isn't all that. It's perfectly possible to feel alone, even when you're surrounded by company. Trust me, I get it. Which is why I can understand just how lonely you really are. And like I said, it's not your fault. Bad things happen to good people. And you're a good person, trust me. I'd be one to know since I'm your stalker. Your wholesome stalker. Because I love you. Don't forget that important bit, please. But, as for your condition, uh, it gets worse. Not to be a pessimist, but it really does get worse. Because, second of all, I also noticed you've been pretty anxious recently. A bit stressed. I don't know if you've even noticed, but sometimes it just sort of happens. But I've certainly noticed... And I don't think the cause of that is just from your loneliness because I've been watching you and believe me, I know you have a lot of things to be stressed about. I can still see the effect that has had on you and that it currently is still having on you. You just haven't been yourself. Your eating habits changed. 
Your sleeping habits changed. So much about you has changed. You're not the same person you once were, and I'm afraid that if this goes on any longer, then you'll lose your sense of self, and you might even forget who you even were. Here's the good part. This is where I come in. Because I, the stalker who is so head over heels in love for you, that I regularly slip you a few extra bills in your wallet when you're not aware. You thought you were just bad at math and keeping track of your spending, didn't you? But I, that affectionate wholesome stalker, have made it my divine mission to save you. My very life's purpose. Now, how do I intend to do that, you might ask? Well, the answer is very simple. Kidnapping. No, 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 don't freak out. I mean, yeah, it's kidnapping, but consensually. I will consensually kidnap you. I'll only kidnap you if you want it. Well, though I guess that... I guess at that point, it's not really kidnapping if you consent. Now, I know this must all sound so absurd, but there's some logic here, I swear. You see, your life has trouble. It has stress and problems. I'm here to take you away from all of that. I'm offering you my hand. It's a bit sweaty, I know. Like I said, I thought you'd be sleeping. But I'm offering my hand to take you to my home. You can live there with me. It's a very low-stress environment. You don't have to worry about high expectations or responsibility there. Heck, I was blown away when you caught that spoon that was falling. I even marked it in the notebook I used to chronicle your life. I can show you sometime. And you don't have to be worrying about money, either. I'll be paying all the bills. And I'm not just talking about necessities either. I'll give you some for yourself too. And I don't judge your spending habits. And oh boy. I know your spending habits. But what might be the most important of all? Is that I'll make sure you get the attention you deserve. So you feel loved. And you never feel lonely. I work from home, you see, so I can be there with you all the time. And I know a magic chant to make sure you feel super loved. It goes like this. I love you. I'm a very powerful wizard. I know. Seriously though. I love, love, love you. If I was a moth, you would be my lamp. If I was a bee, you would be my honey. Well, okay. You're already my honey. Oh, I know I can assure you a bit better. Hold on, I've got it right here. I like to keep it on me just because I feel like it gives me strength. Okay, here. Take a look at this. It's a notebook where I wrote, I love you, from cover to cover. It's all handwritten. Nothing from a printer. That's cheating. Hopefully you can feel a bit more assured now. Now that I love you. Because I really do love you. Did I mention I love you? I love you. Anyway, I should let you get some sleep. And be sure to give my offer to kidnap you some thought. I'll be here again tomorrow night. I visit every night after all. Oh, and please, don't lock your window. Am I forgetting anything else? Oh, right. Just one last thing. I love you.